Hello student and welcome you all. So in the today class we are going to discuss about the projection of solids. So the projection of solid there are different positions in the solids. So first one it will be the axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. This is the first position of the solids. Okay. So it means if any object or any solid element their axis we are talking about their axis that will be perpendicular to horizontal plane and the same axis that will be parallel to VP. Okay, if you have the quadrant system so that the doubt or your topic it will be very clear. Okay, so we'll take one quadrant system here. So let us take this one quadrant here. Okay, so in the first quadrant we are taking. So here if you keep any solid element, for example, this is your prism. Okay, having a square is the base and having the longer edges in all the four corners. So it's the shape of the prism. For example, it is appearing like this, a square prism. So here the axis will be at their center. So here there is an axis of the that prism. So I will make cha chain line for the axis. So this axis is perpendicular to the this horizontal plane. Okay. So if I locate the position of this prism in this form, it means the axis of the prism that is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. So axis is center. So that center line that is perpendicular to this horizontal plane. And also it is parallel to the VP. So same axis of the particular polyhedra that is parallel to the VP. This axis is parallel to the VP and also perpendicular to HP. Hope the doubt is clear to you now. So when the any elements or any solid if their axis is perpendicular to HP and same axis it will be parallel to VP then that is the first case. So now we have to make their projections. So generally the projection means their front view and top view and side views. Okay. So when you are observing this element, so generally we will start with their top views. In this case, in this first case, first we have to observe the top view, then from their top views we have to project it and we have to draw their front view. It means elevation to be drawn in the front view. Okay, so you have to draw their x, y line first, then represent VP by HP. Okay, after that, so whatever you are observing from the top view, so generally the cross section of the either prism, pyramid, or cone, cylinder, we can see from there. Top view. So if you look at the top view, so you can observe the shape of the element. So now we are observing it is an a square, a square having some sides. Okay. 
so again it's one of its there are four sides now we don't know how to locate the square whether we have to locate the square like this or you can make square like this also okay so for pentagonal or hexagonal that is again more complication so you have to understand what is the exact positions of the top view okay so now here in this object we can understand there are four sides so if i locate the object in this form so now one of its sides so this one of its sides that is making parallel to vp is it one of its sides is parallel to vp or you can say this one of its sides again all sides are same so one of its sides it is making perpendicular to vp also so one of its side is parallel to vp and also making perpendicular to vp okay so in this way we can draw like this it means one of its sides is parallel to vp then this is the top view and make it project all these bottom lines and you can show their front view okay so generally front view you will have that rectangular shape okay so in this way we can define the problem so the base on the hp in this problem it is on the hp one of its base on hp means the entire base is lying on the hp and one of its sides parallel to vp so parallel to vp this is one of its sides it is parallel to vp that's it okay hope you understand the concept thank you